One of the key things that you need to have when you're an entrepreneur is a thick skin. And I mean that metaphorically, not literally, you understand. And I'm going to talk to you about how you can develop that in this video. Now, one thing is you do need to know what people really think, even if it's hurtful. So in your business activities, you need to ask for feedback. You need to take it constructively, but don't take it personally. Because surrounding yourself with yes men or yes women won't do you any good. And sometimes you can get so close to what you're doing that you, you know, you can't see the forest for the trees. So getting feedback, hearing things that perhaps you don't want to hear, hearing things that perhaps aren't very pleasant, all comes with the territory. So you don't take it personally. So you develop a thick skin so that you can take the blow, but it doesn't hurt as much. You also want to tune out unhelpful negative comments that you're going to get about your business because some people will want you to fail now i know that sounds an odd thing to say you know, why would somebody want you to fail but there are several reasons why that might happen and sometimes it's because people are afraid of your success you know, your, your friends and family might think to themselves well if you become rich and successful, you'll be a different person. You won't want us anymore. You won't want to be around us anymore. You'll move away to some fancy neighborhood and we'll never see you very often. And so they're afraid that if you're successful, it's going to have a negative impact on them. Other people will see you as a threat. Other people who think that you're going after the same amount of business as them will see you as a threat and they will want you to fail because then your failure will in some way help them to succeed. That's how they'll look at it anyway. And of course, if you do fail, if you do something that doesn't work out, there's always going to be people there who've never progressed beyond the playground who are going to say, you know, you couldn't do it, na 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 na, that sort of thing. You know, some people act like school children even when they're grown up. And of course, these people are often very quick to come up with another comment, which is, well, why don't you just give up and get a job? And there are some times when you're an entrepreneur, when things are not going very well, when cash flow's tight, when having a regular income and a regular paycheck can look pretty appealing. And there are going to be people who don't understand, who are not entrepreneurial minded, who are going to sort of try and pressure you into doing that. Something else that comes with developing a thick skin is ignoring unsolicited advice from people who don't know what they're talking about. And this is something that you'll encounter quite a lot uh, as an entrepreneur. You're going to find people who think they know what they're talking about and who don't, who don't know anything about your business, who don't know anything about being an entrepreneur or running a business or anything like that, but they are not going to uh, hold them back from offering their advice. In the UK, there's a comedian called Harry Enfield. And when he was doing his TV show back in the late 1990s, early 2000s, he had a character whose catchphrase was, you don't want to do it like that. And he used to say in a very sort of nasally, annoying, nasally sort of voice, you know, you don't want to do it like that. And... He would offer this advice to people and, of course, it would always end in disaster. And I'm sure that the character was based on someone that Harry Enfield knew. And let's face it, we all know people like that. We all know people who are going to sort of look at what you're doing and say, oh, you don't want to do it like that, and then offer some advice uh, based on what they think they know or based on what they think you ought to be doing when they really don't know anything about your business. So if you know what you're doing, you should be able to spot this sort of behavior a mile off. And if you think there's some credence to what they're saying, then by all means, check it out. But don't waste too much time on it, though. And when you're starting out in your business, when you're starting out being an entrepreneur, you need to have the right mindset to succeed. So you must avoid hearing derogative comments. Now, 
How can you do this? Well, the best way is simply not to talk about your online business during its early stages, because there will be setbacks. There will be things that don't work out. You'll be feeling your way in the dark in lots of ways, and of course, there are going to be people who are going to、uh, be enjoying the fact that. Things are not going exactly the way that you planned it, and there are going to be others who are going to be saying, "Yeah, you don't want to do it like that." So, unless the person is also into online business or has some knowledge about the niche that you're taking, then there's no need to tell them. You know, wait until you succeed and have them witness it, and they'll witness your success, and they won't witness your failures, and that'll keep them on the right side. However. If an expert gives you some free advice, then by all means take it. People who have been there and done that will sometimes take it upon themselves to help others who are up and coming. And frankly, this advice is often worth its weight in gold. So you need to learn to tell the difference. And it's actually not all that difficult because good advice. Is usually framed positively and is backed up with examples and case studies, often from first-hand experience. Whereas know-it-all advice is usually negative in nature. You know, it's the "you don't want to do it like that" sort of advice. And you have to bear in mind that you won't be successful all the time. There will be setbacks. It's inevitable, and you will fail at some things. But what you need to do is to develop that thick skin, learn from the experience, and move on. And don't let other people's negativity put you off of pursuing your ambitions. <laughs> 